Hey guys, what's up? I'm back again. They call me that guy and I do giveaways like this all the time. To enter, just subscribe and tune in to the giveaway videos posted on my channel every 100 subscribers. Hey guys, what's up? I'm back again with another Fortnite video. And today this video is going to maybe be kind of touchy for some people, but this is 100% my opinion and Today in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys why I think that Fortnite Saves the World is going down the drain. And one of those reasons is there's no reason to finish the game, right? And you may say to yourself, like, oh, that's no problem, you know, you could just go in there and get some guns and you could level them up, have fun, and, you know, play around with the new guns that they have, right? Yeah, you could, but... They added a way to increase the uh, rarity of the perks on your guns, or not the rarity of them, but to level up the perks on your guns. But in order to do that, you need evolution materials, so you have to go into these missions and farm them, right? But these missions are farmed with these people, or filled with these people, right? That are just farming, and like power level 100 zones, you'll find people who are power level 44, like you see here. The dude earlier was power level 16, like it's just ridiculous and the reason that that happens is because there's no reason to finish it right so as soon as you hit canny valley as soon as you enter canny valley you're able to unlock 106s right of course you have to get the uh, skill tree token things in order to unlock all the nodes but once you hit canny valley you're able to unlock 106s and 106s are technically in game uh, weapons so that's what I use it in game that's what a lot of people use it in game unless you're doing like twine 10 but yeah so once you hit Candy Valley you're pretty much done if you wanted to get to twine peaks so that you could do power level 100 missions and get the rewards for that stuff then all you would have to do is get right to the beginning of twine peaks and then you could go all the way into a power level 100 zone it doesn't matter what your level is as long as you unlock twine peaks so if you're power level 30 and you get completely carried through Candy Valley right you could be in power level 100 zones as a power level 30 just because you've passed Canning Valley so it's really ruining the game and they really need to do something about that because it, I can't get missions done um, I'm farming for reperk right now and you get 43 a mission right and it's not even worth it it literally took me two hours yesterday these are all the matches right here in this gameplay it, it took me two hours to find one match that I can beat and I ended up getting 43 reperk right and I might just be having bad luck or whatever but when you need 1500 reperk to do this and literally every lobby that you go into has a leech or doesn't have anybody at all then it's kinda difficult you know it's really difficult to go in there and solo all of these missions unless you're gonna sit there and grind it out to be extremely overpowered but then again why would you do that though you have to wait all this time or spend all these V bucks to go into a mission and carry people because as soon as they see your level they're gonna want you to carry them right away or they're just gonna sabotage your mission I have that happen all the time as soon as I say I'm not carrying you then they shoot down the balloon or they ruin the base or something like that and it's irritating because you know like you see here we built up the whole base even started the mission and he got salty because I was asking what else we needed so he left the game so it's like really dude like you're gonna sabotage the mission after all this time and it takes so long to do this stuff and another thing that this leads to is scamming right because when there's nothing to do in the game and there's no reason to complete the game you can beat stonewood very easily right and once you get into plankerton then you can unlock 82s right because you can unlock two star evolution as soon as you go like halfway through your skill tree or whatever you can unlock three star evolutions right at the end of that right in plankerton but in Candy Valley, once you get to Candy Valley, as soon as you do, like I was saying, you can have 106s, which is in-game content. So you can play for one or two days, maybe three tops. If you really grind it out, it won't take that long, right? But you just play for a couple days, 
and then you'll be able to get to Caney Valley and get 106s, and then there's no point to play anymore. So you take those 106s, and then you go to Global Chat, and you say, hey, anyone want to trade? I have 106s. And you can even send screenshots, and you do have 106s, right? Because that's literally the only thing to do. Because when I'm in power level 100 zones, and I want to farm materials and stuff, I... I want to go in and complete the mission and collect a few materials but when you can't do that because you can't complete half of the missions that are there because they're power level hundreds you know what I mean I don't think that you should have to be power level 110 or 115 to easily be a power level 100 you know like I'm using power level 106 silent specter on the smasher and nature one at that and the smasher is water so that it's perfect and it still takes two to three clips to kill him. It's it's just ridiculous. So I can see why people scam, and I can see why people would just want to trade and only play this game for trading, because that's really all there is to do once you beat it, right? I traded with this guy the other day in a power level in a hundred zone, right? I think it might have been a 94, but. Anyways, he was a power level 90 something, right? Like 93, 97, something like that, right? He wanted efficient mechanical parts, and I had a bunch of them. I really don't use them like that. So I was like, screw it, give me some sleek, and I got you. So he dropped 50 sleek, and I dropped the stack of efficient, and he kicks me, right? He was supposed to give me two for one. And it's like, really, dude? Like, I don't need it. You don't need it. You can go into a power level 100 and spend 20 minutes and have all that. So it's like, you know what I mean? But why not, though? There's nothing else to do. Whenever you go into a power level 100 mission, either you got to farm on solo or you got to carry people through it. And that's no fun, you know? When you have to grind and try to beat the mission like you see me doing here, why should I have somebody sitting in the back behind me waiting until the match is over to get the rewards? Just sitting there, not caring if they die or anything. That's not cool, and, you know, something really needs to be done about that. So, the next thing is, guys, is the materials are way too hard to get. This probably wouldn't be too big of a problem if the materials were easier to get. But as of right now, the materials and the evolution materials and stuff like that, it's hard. It is a, for sure, grind. And that's no problem. That is no issue at all to grind. I have three, four, five hundred hours, six hundred hours played on just about any game that I play. I like a good grind, right? The difference is, is I don't like to grind when I have to carry everybody else through missions and it's a grind to nowhere. It's just a grind to complete missions and missions and missions. It's not really a grind for anything, right? I can understand grinding for the perk up because you can evolve or you can upgrade your perks to make them better, right? More critical damage, more critical rating, stuff like that. So that's a grind worth grinding for. But it's so hard to get that stuff, it's really not worth it when it takes days and days on end to do one gun. You gotta think, if you need 225 epic up flux or whatever it is, the stuff that you use to increase the rarity of your perks to purple, you need 225 of that for one upgrade, right? There's five upgrades that are available to be put to purple or gold on each gun. So that means that you're going to have to spend 1,225 just, or er, no, I was thinking 250. You're going to have to spend just over 1,000 epic perk up just to evolve one gun all to purple. And then it takes like 325 or 330 or something like that to do legendary. So then you're looking at like 12, 1300 legendary to make that one gun legendary. And then that's one gun. I have 40, 50 legendary schematics. What if I wanted to do all of those? It's literally going to take me years to do that. Years. And they're still coming out with stuff. So they really need to make this stuff easier to get. Maybe putting it in... Um, supply or not supply drops like llamas and stuff like that maybe um, we were talking about it the other day if a few people in game maybe if you had like mist monsters or smashers drop of one a piece that would be fine with me if you had a mist monster have a 10% chance or a 6% chance of dropping one legendary perk up that would be perfectly fine because you need 300 something of those but it would be fine because there's an alternate way to get it 
so if you really needed to you'd be able to farm it per se right but they don't have that right now and that leads me to my next point guys is there's no replay value at all once you beat a section of the game there's no point to go back and play that other than to get the perk ups and stuff which i don't think is a really good idea honestly I understand that you don't want to give the uncommon perk up or the rare perk up or whatever in power level 100 zones and that's 100% fine but when you don't give us any other way to earn it other than to go into like Stonewood missions and Blankerton missions I myself don't want to do that because you decrease the power that my guns do so if you're making my guns weaker and making me spend all these good materials for nothing you know what I mean then like why and then when I go into a lower level Plankerton or Stonewood even Canny Valley now then everybody just wants to carry and they just sit there and farm thinking that I'm gonna do it all and that's not how things work so it's just really kind of annoying um like I was saying there's just no replay value at all and there's really no play value honestly like I hate to say it, but like, unless you want to trade, or you just want a game to fill your time, just to play when you're bored or whatever, just to have a decent grind to nowhere, then this would be the game. But if you're looking for a game with an objective, and that's like well put together and well maintained, it's really not a fun game to play. Um, it's more rage inducing than anything and if not then you're mainly trading so I mean that's that if you know if you're not playing the game then you're trading and if you're not trading or playing the game then you're getting scammed so it's like you don't want to trade you also don't want to get ripped off so what do you do you play the game but you can't play the game because you need other people to do it and other people just want to get carried through it so like I'm saying guys it's taken it wouldn't be that big of an issue if it wasn't taking so long but it literally takes two, three, four, and five hours to find one match in power level hundreds, ninety fours, all that stuff, eighty sixes, all that stuff. It's or eighty eights. It's just abs absolutely ridiculous, right? Like, uh, I just don't want to play the game anymore, and I hate to say it, but it seems like it's going to be the new Call of Duty. Like, I kind of just dropped out of Call of Duty because it's always the same and. You know, I, I want to kind of get back to it now because Fortnite is not really doing it for me. I really am not happy with Fortnite, but I don't know, guys. So, I'm trying to figure something out. But if you did enjoy or have anything else that you'd like to say down in the comments, if you disagree with anything or agree with anything that I say, make sure to let me know down in the comments because I don't want any hate on this video or anything like that. I just wanted to put my opinion out there and let you guys know how I feel as a YouTube content creator and as somebody who really likes to play Save the World and really enjoys to play Save the World. So. Yeah, I put a lot of time into my game, and I really hope that somebody takes some positive out of this, and maybe even some parts of this can get relayed back to Epic, and something can get done about it. Um, maybe just put a cap on what level you could be to get into a certain zone, right? So, like, if you're not up to that level, then you can't be there or something. Or maybe only lets you go one level higher, right? So, if you're in 76s, then lets you go to 82s, right? If you're in 82s, then only lets you go to 82s and 88s, right? So, like, if you're in 94 zones, then you can go to power level 100s. If you're not in power level 94 zones, it shouldn't let you in there. It should give you an error message, right? But, I don't know. You guys let me know down below. That's it. I'm done talking for now. So, until next time, guys, I'm out. Peace.